Hello everyone, welcome to something that I will regret. So, uh, the game I'm playing here is Asterix and Obelix XXL. You know, just an old game, the remastered version, that's how they call it, the remastered version. If you want to use normal words. And I never played this game on Extreme. Or Nightmare or however you want to call it. And you know, before I started this video I tried to go through the first act and I died within the first combat situation. So I, have, so I figured, you know what, maybe it's not a good idea to try to make a 30 minute video out of this. So here's what I will do. I will play this game until I die. This will probably... I also turned on the, the speedrunner clock at the top of the screen. It's so cool that this game has this. More games should have that. Are there speedrunners for this game? Because I don't know. But this is certainly a cool feature for them. A unifying clock in the game itself. That's pretty cool. So anyway, can I skip the first sequence? No, but I can switch the, the graphics. I will stay to the old graphics because I love the old graphics. It just has way better atmosphere. These new graphics in newer games, something that I don't like about most remasters or even remakes, is that even though the game looks better, they don't get the lighting right. You see how how light it is, how light everything is. Then I look here and everything is dark. It's like, yeah, you look at the fire here and you can barely see the fire. You look at it in the old version, it's like, holy crap, the ghoulish, the Gaulish village is burning. Know what I mean? It's like, Neo games just don't get the sliding right, ever. They look better, sure, but if you can't make the atmosphere, if I think that the people working on graphics and stuff, they just have forgot how to make atmosphere, right? It's like, yeah, that looks good, but this one has atmosphere and I prefer atmosphere over everything else ever. I don't really care about graphics, generally. Here we have Sam Fisher. What an honorable man. I love Sam Fisher. Anyway, I don't care about graphics. Generally, if my game has bad graphics, I at least want it to be to be cleanly bad. For example, if we take Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, it's like, yeah, the graphics are bad. But on top of that, the graphics are also wonky and they're not unifyingly bad. They're just kind of wonky and really annoying. But if we look at something like this game or something like the Pokemon game right before Scarlet and Violet, it's like, so, yeah, I know that. Something like Pokemon Sword and Shield, it's like, yeah, Sword and Shield looked also bad, but it was unifyingly bad. Everything was bad. And so it looked as bad as it looked. I did not mind it, because at least it had a style. You know, there was at least something to it. So here, our first mission is to collect 150 helmets for Sam Fisher, so he helps us get out of the out of the burnt down village. This game is so dark. I mean, when I was a kid I was frightened to hell. It's like, oh yeah, Asterix and Obelix, I like that. You know the thing for children. And then in the game they're like, yeah, by the way, your home is burnt down. <laughs> and every and everyone got captured. It's like, okay, okay, I, sure man. Sure man, everyone basically is, yeah, everyone is captured. Everything's burnt down. And everywhere are Romans right at the start. It's well. By the way, I'm sorry for you probably you're probably gonna hear me pressing the button a lot because it's a button masher game. Most of the time. You see I have some techniques. I can push the enemies around. Which you should do because otherwise you're just within 20 enemies and you just get wrecked instantly. So anyway, I got now I got further than my first try. Where I died in the first combat situation and couldn't do anything, so. I also do love the sound. Te theoretically, I could give you the new sounds, the newer sounds, but I just love these old sounds. When I collect the helmet, it's 
it's so intense. You know, the newer sounds, it's like, yeah, it sounds more realistic. It sounds quote unquote better, but the old sounds just sound, I don't know, more impactful, heavier. And that's what I like. I don't like that the generally gaming in general has more focused on, on, on realism over style because I prefer style every day of the week. I don't need realism. I have enough realism in my life. Get the fuck off realism. Bro. Those are normal Romans. Usually the, they don't use their shield that much. Maybe they use it like once or twice. But the fact that I have to hit them three times. It's like usually they have like three health. But because they use their shield. They have six health. Instead of the, u of the normal three to four or something. So this is already crazy. If you're wondering. So... Well, you probably did not find this video from from the channel page, but but I played Death Trap, World of Fun Hazing Death Trap, and I wanted something outside of Battlefront to to do on the side, which does not take a day to to process for my computer. Here you go, Sam Fisher. That does not take my yeah a day for my computer to do because if i i would like to do a video every day and i can't do that with battlefront because it takes too long so i try to find a game that is not too that will not cost my pc too much to upload it in like i don't know like three hours minimally so battlefront takes forever world of unhelsing did not take quite as long but still too long and just barely a little bit less than Battlefront takes me, so I will do Fun Helsing too because it's fun. Oh yeah, this was this is difficult to get. So you see my shields; those are my health. Am I? I just said I need those to get the shield, and then I destroy them. Can please tell me so? Can please someone tell me how? Oh yeah. Oh my Jesus, you can combo these people after... So I would like to do something that I remember doing, never doing as a kid, but... Yeah, here we go, this is super effective because it's basically a shield and you can... You can injure everyone with it. Yeah, I should... I never did that as a kid, but this is basically the most effective... Oops. I always try to do a special move and I just change the, the effect. I know I can throw these guys away too. Yeah, now I just threw them in the air, but I would like him to... Oh my goodness, oh my goodness! 